you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rapala Lures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life, Arctic Cat ATVs, share our passion, and supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. This week on Midwest Outdoors, Tony Roach and Pete Frisch on Lake Mille Lacs, and coverage of the 2014 Minnesota Tournament Trail Championship from Lake of the Woods. It all starts right here, right now. Hey, on this segment of Midwest Outdoors, it's a cold, nasty winter day in northern Minnesota. The wind's blowing. We're hunkered down here in the otter and I tell you what, this insulated otter, it's the only way to fish on days like this. We're pan fishing today with my good buddy Pete Frisch. You know, I make my living on the water fishing walleyes, jumbo perch, chasing those for most of the year. Anytime I get an opportunity to chase big bluegills and crappies, I jump at the chance, even on a nasty cold day like today. Let's go get a few, huh Pete? Yep. Oh, what a light biter. You know, not only are we staying nice and warm and comfortable in here, but with that wind out there, it'd be hard to feel that bite. There we go. That's a little more of what we're looking for right there. Bigger gills, you know, bluegills in the summer can be some of the most aggressive fish in the lake. You get a cold winter day like today with a cold front and they can be some of the most finicky fish out there. You know, but that's the game. That's what I love about pan fishing is getting these things to come in and bite, especially on a day where they're just coming up very, very slow, not aggressive, but just playing that game of cat and mouse, working it until you catch these fish. It's important to put these big bluegills back in the system. There it is, Pete. Soft biter. That's a cool sequence right there because we're both using LX6s, LX9s, that digital platform. And with that digital platform, you can really tell when those fish get on that bait. You know, I've got, I'm running mine with a five foot zoom screen. So with a soft bite, like we're experiencing today, you can see when those fish get right on the end of it. And then of course we're using nice soft rods as a strike indicator. Look at them all, they're lighting up. Look at the screenshot, man. Jig aggressive to get them to come up and then just hold it still. There we go, give them what they want, right Pete? That's right. That one came up hard, but then put the brakes on as soon as I started raising that bait. Another gill. You know, when the fish get finicky and tough and they're tough biters and they won't respond, especially to spoons or larger presentations, I like to downsize. I like to use a lot of tungsten, real small jigs tipped with either Euro larva or even plastics. Plastics work great even on a really tough bite. But just a combination, mixing it up a little bit. You know, like right now we're using 57th ounce jigs, um, but just mix up the colors a little bit. You'll find in a lot of situations, they'll get used to one color. And then as soon as you drop another color down or have another rod rigged up with another color, boom, they'll burst into action and strike that bait. There we go. Ooh, feels like a crappie. That was a cool sequence. That's what I love about using these LX6s, 7s, and 9s, using that graph because, again, that fish came up a couple different times. I was able to react to the bite. As he started going back down, I realized that he wanted it moving up in the water column. And you see that a lot on these graphs where you're jigging aggressively to get them to come in, you slow down, all of a sudden they pause, they put on the brakes, start going back down. You jig aggressive again, and then you realize by watching that graph side of things 
that the fish want it moving up in the water column. So rather than jigging aggressive or continuing that, you just raise that momentum very, very slow and that's how this, this fish bit. You know, it's really important when you're pan fishing like this and you're finesse style fishing that you're using the right rod and reel, like this rod, for example, has a really soft tip, but good backbone. And then coupling that with the right pound test, you know, when I'm using these really small tungsten jigs, I like to use one pound test, two, even three at the most. But that's really key to getting the right action out of these small tungsten baits. <laughs> That was cool, Pete. Just because they're finicky doesn't mean they're not biting, right, Pete? That's right. That was a soft bite. Oh, man. I wish I could say I caught that fish. Nice work, Pete. <laughs> well, we had a pretty good day, huh, Pete? Yep. Sure you know, did. coming out, catching big bluegills like this on a nasty cold front day. And, you know, just because they're finicky doesn't mean they're not biting. That's got to be the theme of today is just <laughs> working those fish. That's the fun for me. It's... It's like trying to get each individual fish to bite. That's what's great about using the electronics. That's what's nice about using these rods and this thin pound test. What a great fish, what a great day. Hey, for Pete Frisch, I'm Tony Roach. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors. hottest bait under the ice, hammered slender spoons from Custom Jigs and Spins. Ready for a hard water adventure? Come see what over a hundred years of fishing at Arneson's has to offer. Venture onto Lake of the Woods aboard one of Arneson's state-of-the-art track vans. Fish walleye, sauger, northern pike, and jumbo perch. Experienced winter guides move fish houses to keep you on the fish. Spend a night on the ice or in one of our fully equipped cabins. Enjoy first class service at the Rock Harbor Lodge and full service bar. Visit Arnesons.com and begin your Lake of the Woods adventure. Day one, Minnesota Tournament Trail Championship. We're up at Lake of the Woods, and this is one of the best walleye fisheries in the country. And these guys are going to show everybody that again today. I'll tell you what, there was a little bit of a cold front, but the fish should be biting. Looks like everything's settling down a little bit today. There's 71 teams here, and they're battling for over $70,000 in cash and prizes. Stay right where you're at. This is going to be a fun tournament to watch. rough out here this morning and a lot of these guys have made the run all the way north. You're going to see a lot of different tactics today with this weather. These guys behind us here, they're jigging. They've got a couple little ones in the box, but it's going to be a little bit tough go this morning. The good news is this weather's supposed to lay down as the day goes on. It should get easier and easier for everyone and be a lot easier to ride home. There are different strategies going on all over the lake. These guys are jigging here the way it looks. That's one of the first fish we've seen caught today. It's been a little bit tough out here this morning, but as the day goes on, the bite should get better and better like we talked about before. But one of the things you might have to do is make an adjustment from what you were doing pre-fishing and do what these guys are doing, make a change. That one didn't stay in the boat, but as long as you're catching fish, you'll get through to the right ones eventually. Well, we found a whole bunch of boats up here. This is where about half the tournament boats are. We're just to the west of Garden Island right now. Bunch of them trolling, there's some spinner fishing going on, there's some jig fishing. You can catch fish on Lake of the Woods about any way you want to catch them. It just comes down to what do you think is going to be the best way to catch them on tournament day. One of the neat things about this tournament too is once you're here, once you get qualified for this thing, you're fishing for over $70,000 in cash and prizes and that includes a brand new Skeeter Yamaha boat package and the handout, the Lindy Team of the Year award here too. So there's a lot going on, there's a lot of money getting thrown around. And if you get up here and you get the chance to be part of this, it's a lot of fun for everybody. 
Got a fish on right behind us here. There's a pretty decent bite going on right now. One of the neat things about the Minnesota Tournament Trail is you can get qualified for this championship in so many different places. They go to Red Wing on the Mississippi River. They go to Big Stone. They go to Mille Lacs, Lake Winnebagosh, and up here to Lake of the Woods. So it's a lot of fisheries, a lot of great fisheries that you can go to fish the qualification tournaments where you've got great purses. Then you can come up here and fish for the big dollars at the championship. One of the neatest things about the Minnesota Tournament Trail is the camaraderie. I mean, you go to one of these meetings and everybody gets to know each other and they help each other become better fishermen. And then the other thing is there's husband-wife teams, there's father-son teams, there's a lot of guys just out fishing with their buddies. And there's awards for all this stuff. You can win the Team of the Year award or husband-wife Team of the Year or father-son Team of the Year. So it's really neat and it's a great way to make a lot of friends and just have a lot of fun fishing. Well, the boats have scattered out a little bit this afternoon. It's make or break time. They're all looking for one big fish. And I'll tell you what, if you find that fish, you can be in great shape today. We're going to head back to weigh in. We're going to find out who's got the lead after day one at the Minnesota Tournament Trail Championship. Hey, I'm going to jump in the boat here with Ron Danner and Tim Miskevich. What keeps you coming back and fishing the Minnesota Tournament Trail, Ron? Well, it's a good organization. It's fun. Yeah. Good bunch of guys. Really, really nice guys to fish with and against. So. Yeah. All right, Kirk DeCamp and Paul Schneider just came into the dock. What do you got in there, boys? How many we got? Uh, six fish. It's been a tough crankbait bite. So. But one of the things about it, you take a day like today, and you guys bring six fish, and you're right in this thing. No, that sounds good. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Dan and Rod Pfeiffer just came into the dock here. and These guys went out today in second place for the Lindy Team of the Year title, and this thing is as tight as I've ever seen it. So today was pretty important for you guys, and it looks like you delivered here. We got a six-fish basket, huh? Yeah, we got a uh, probably a decent bag. We didn't find any of those big fish. It's been a great year, and... Um, I don't know, hopefully we can get it done tomorrow. Look at that. That is just a beautiful fish. Congratulations, man. That's a, that's a great fish. Thank you. Mainly the people. We have so much fun. We help each other out. It's just like a big party, actually. And then we get to fish, too. Well, that's a wrap for the day one weigh-in, and we've got 22 teams within four pounds of the lead. And what that means is big fish tomorrow are going to be a premium. Anybody can still win this tournament. And that's what's great about the Minnesota Tournament Trail is you come to a body of water like this, and you never know what's going to happen tomorrow because the bite out here could turn on and everybody could nail them tomorrow. Stay right where you're at. We'll be right back with day two of the Minnesota Tournament Trail Championship. Hi everybody, Al Linder here. Hey look, I really look forward to sharing some things with you about me on the cover, the January issue of Midwest Outdoors. See you there. Your family adventure begins with Voyager Houseboats of Crane Lake. Explore Voyager's National Park with all the comforts of home. Voyager Houseboats provide fun for all ages. And now, introducing the brand new Voyager Lodge. Explore 14 new luxurious hotel rooms, as well as the new bar and restaurant. Log on to houseboatvacations.com or call 1-800-88-BOATS. Great for ice fishing or any season. The First Strike Bite Indicator allows you to clearly see when a fish strike occurs. The First Strike Bite Indicator easily clips onto any fishing rod, allowing you to use your own rod like a tip-up. A lighted version increases your visual range for greater hole separation in evening fishing. Also great for bank fishing and dock fishing. Increase your range and catch more fish this ice season or any season with the First Strike Bite Indicator. To order, visit FirstStrikeFishing.com.
Well, it's day two here at the Minnesota Tournament Trail, and all the boats are in the water. They just got done with the national anthem. It's almost time to go. Here's what we're going to find out today. Who's going to win the Lindy Team of the Year Award? Who's going to bring home that brand new Skeeter and Yamaha boat package? And who's going to claim their piece of this $70,000 worth of cash and prizes? So stay right where you're at. We're going to head out on the water, and we're going to follow the action. Good luck to all of you. Let's see who's going to take that Skeeter home. Take him out, Kevin. Back behind us here is Mike Klein and Alan Kishler. They're over here in that Ranger. And here's what's going on here. This is turning into a jig bite. Yesterday, a lot of guys were trolling cranks. This spot here only had two boats on it yesterday morning, but it went pretty good. And it looks like we got a little bit of a crowd in here. Now these guys, Kishler and Klein, went out in seventh place. So they're looking to put some fish in the live well, but I'll tell you what, it doesn't look like it's going quite like it was yesterday. All of these guys qualified to fish the Minnesota Tournament Trail Championship by fishing four one days in one two day tournament. And then for the extra awards, the team of the year title and such, you fish five one days in one two day and you're qualified. But here's what's really neat about this. You can do this in a couple weekends throughout the summer. You can get this all knocked out. So three weekends is gonna get you into the championship. And once you get here, you're fishing for that big payday. And the purses are great throughout the season as well. So if you're thinking about going out and fishing a circuit and you wanna be involved in fishing for a championship, this is the perfect circuit to do it on the Minnesota Tournament Trail. Really makes it easy. This is Brian Donansky and Bob Nitty back here behind us. They came into this tournament leading the team of the year race. Yesterday they put up a six fish limit, but it was only good for 15th or 16th right in that neighborhood. So they got some work to do today. They got four in the well. And we're getting on toward that noon hour. So they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to get after something here pretty quick, get that limit in the live well and go try to find a big one. Well, we're getting toward the end of the day and these guys are all scrambling to put that last fish or two in the live well, maybe get a big one and win this thing. We're gonna head back, we're gonna go to weigh in, we're gonna find out who's gonna take home that brand new Skeeter and Yamaha boat package for first prize, who's gonna get their share, that $70,000 cash and prizes, and find out who the Lindy Team of the Year is. Tim Sweeney, his partner's Brian Wild. That's a big fish, buddy. That ought to put you right in it. What do you think? I'm loving it right now. Hey, I'm here with Tim Ajax. Yeah, we pulled one out here. We, we thought we could get two today, and we, uh, we went for broke. Two spots would tie this thing. Learned a lot from those guys, and it's good to be up there at the top. I want to thank all our sponsors for 2014. Skeeter Boats, Yamaha Outboards, Lindy Tackle, Skeeter Boat Center, Tinker Larson Dodge, Budweiser, Nitty's Hunters Point Resort, Denny's Resort, Odyssey Batteries, Great Lakes Marine Service and Sales, Coyote Wild, Lake of the Woods Tourism, Tahoe Sportswear, JJV's Best Boat Cleaner, Ripple Lip, Board of View Lodge. Thanks for a great year in 2014, and we look forward to working with you in 2015. Dan Pfeiffer and Rod Pfeiffer to come on up. Third place today had 27.62. Second place had 27.84. And the winner had 28.01. Second place goes to Fred Spies and Bernie Protosk. 27.84 pounds, great job, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. We were hoping for some big fish. We actually never caught any big fish. We found a spot. There were some absolute monster 19. All right, let's get our winners up here. Going home with a $40,000 Skeeter boat. Josh Hookreed and Bob Carlson, 28.01. Congratulations, great job, guys. There you go, there's your Minnesota Tournament Trail champions. Let's give them one big round of applause. Great job, guys. You guys came in with an absolute behemoth walleye today. Yeah, it was a big fish. Did you get that fish? I mean, hey, here's the deal. I want to know, were you guys targeting big fish today? Three spots, I believe, and uh, three o'clock, the big one hit. And it's history. 
All right, Lindy Team of the Year race. It's really neat that this thing is this close every single year. It just it just goes to show the caliber of competition out there. So let's bring the Fifers up. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Well, Mike, it was another great championship. It's always fun to watch somebody get that yes. first place prize of a brand new boat, motor, and trailer package. Hey, I'm really proud to announce as well that Lindy Fishing Tackle is going to be back on board with the Minnesota Tournament Trail next year as the Team of the Year award again. That's great news, John. Also, Skeeter Boats is on board again. I want you guys to all check out our new photo release tournament format on Mille Lacs Lake. Check it out on our website and see if you can take home that 2015 Skeeter. For Mike Holt, I'm John Thielen. We'll catch you on the trail. Whether it's panfish or trout you're after, you have to check out the amazing Chena bait. This action bait works great with small hooks or jigs included with the package. The small compact container fits in any tackle box. Chena bait comes in a three inch roll and one small strip will allow you to catch 30 to 40 panfish. Chena bait works great both summer and winter. Get your Chena bait today. Call 1-888-203-3373. That's 1-888-203-3373. The amazing Chena bait. Call right now. If you're constantly having your waxworms, maggots fall off your ice spoons and you're, when you're fishing real aggressive, try an Uncle Josh Panfish Pork Leech. It's 100% pork fat. Fish hold on to it longer. It stays on your spoon a lot longer, especially when you miss a fish. And it has great action and comes in a ton of different colors. I'm Matt Pachanich with Beaver Dam Ice Products and this is your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Different colored lenses can enhance your vision depending on lighting conditions. The smoke gray lenses are excellent for glare, and they do not distort colors. They're great for bright light. These red-hued vermilion lenses are great for low light conditions. They sharpen contrast and brighten targets. These light rust colored lenses filter out blue light waves, which are the chief components of glare and haze. They're great for defining targets in medium to low light. Wiley X has a variety of different lens colors matched to your lighting conditions. To find out more, go to wileyx.com I'm Steve Ledden with your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Hi everybody, Al Linder here. Hey look, I really look forward to sharing some things with you about me on the cover, the January issue of Midwest Outdoors. See you there. If you want to turn this into this, then you need the skins it. The Fish Skinner on steroids. Skins It is the quickest, easiest way to remove the rib bones and skin while getting the most meat from your filet with zero waste. It's fast, fun, easy to use, and safe. The Skins It is a perfect gift for the fishermen in your life. How fast can you Skins It? Order now at fishskinner.com.